I'm also going to do a comparison. Well, I'm not also. I'm going to do a comparison with the with the new WowTac. This one is a beast. This is the WowTac. This is a Catapult Pro. It's quite beautiful. They call it Desert Tan. It's more of a bronzish bronze. I'm going to compare it. It's a, considered a thrower to this one, which is not a thrower, but I do have a thrower that we may use instead of this one, but I'm not sure yet. We're going to compare that to an Olat thrower. Brunite Catapult, Catapult Pro. This is a brand spanking, as with most of them. We're going to do a comparison. Brunite sent me this and said, hey, how about comparing that to a uh, an Olight throw? And I said, okay, I'll do that. You know, this is just like any of the Olights, through Nights, and Wild Tacks. They all are superb lights. You can't go wrong with any one of them. I'm going to compare it to the Olight Seeker 2. But this is a, the one on the left is a throw. So it throws farther. So on low, low, of course, a throw throws a lot farther than the Olight Seeker 3 Pro because it's more of a, a broad one. Now I can turn the Seeker 3 Pro up and get a broader band. So for underwater and creeks and tunnels and stuff like this, you want more of a broad one than you do a throw. Now that's on low. So if you take the catapult, double click that baby, it sends a single beam way up there. See that? I'll turn my other one down. So that's the Catapult Pro. It is absolutely a phenomenal throw. Olight has some awesome ones too I've shown you in the past. I didn't have another. I had it, but I didn't bring it. So if you want a throw where you could go, oh my goodness, and shine it stinking a quarter of a mile up through there, the Catapult Pro is one of their absolute best from through nights. So let's compare that to the Olight. Hang on, let's turn it all the way up. Turn it off, double click. See, you get more of a broader band. It's, it's wide. So when you're looking in water, you don't get that hard beam staring right back in your face as you do with, let's be you're trying to treasure hunt with this. Here's a D right here. It can be so bright that you can't really, I mean, you can see, and you can see real good. But for a long distance, it's fantastic. For a short distance, you want more of a broadband, and Thrunite has those too. I'll put the link for the uh, for the Thrunite at the end of this video. But as you have been here before and seen this, this is one of my most favoritest, one of the prettiest under the city spots there is. Spiderwebs and all cobwebs. This is not where we're going to stay. So let's go to the next place. Change the pace. I met two men and a woman who are homeless and they live here. And I've paid them and said, hey, I'm gonna go get you. I'll pay you if you tell me your story. You see the outside, it's so cold. And on the outside, they've got things shoved there to keep the wind from blowing in. So we're gonna go meet them now. I'm, I want to ask him first. So, all right, so, so these are some new friends of mine. Just walked up and met them. It's getting cold. It's supposed to be like what eight degrees next week. Yeah. Really? And oh, and I just and y'all said y'all okay. So, I guess I guess I'm curious you about like what's your name? Lee. Lee. Uh, my name is Jeff. So are you from this area? Yeah. Okay. So how? I guess. So how old are you? Forty-three. So how do you, how do you like, where, where, so where'd you go to school around here? Did you love it? Oh, did you? So how'd you end up in this situation? Where'd you work like out of high school and stuff like that? I used to work at, well, I never worked, but I helped the janitor. Oh, you worked with the janitor? So then at what what point did you like leave home and? I, my girlfriend had me put in jail and I got on the streets and I was home. Oh, after jail you went, okay. So how long you been on the streets now? About. Two or three 
two or three years. You ain't got no local family or anything to go back to. No. So what's the what do y'all what, what do you, how do you eat and stuff like that? The kitchen around here or something? Get soup bro. Okay. How often is that? Always. They come to the park and change. Oh, they come. Okay, come to you guys. Okay. Yeah. So is this kind of where a lot of homeless people spend time together and it's the warming center. try to? Oh, this is it. So when do they gonna when they gonna open this? Five o'clock. At five. Okay. We have to be out by eight. We have to leave at eight in the morning. Man, it's still cold at eight in the morning. Yeah. Oh yeah. I believe that's why we all are sick. Oh, I bet. So how do you get medical care if you need something? Do you? Same Michael. And I go to the emergency room. So the emergency, dad, the emergency yeah. room will help you out and stuff like that. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Fine. Oh, so ma'am, you okay? I can talk to you, right? Yes. What's you your can. name? Fine. My name is Linda. Linda. Yes. Uh, how old are you? I'm 61. You don't look 61. Well, thank you. You're in <laughs> pretty good you shape. Say. My dad's not a whole lot older than you, and he he struggles, but. So how long were are you from this area? I am. I'm out uh, from uh, uh, 21 out there towards, going towards Jacksonville. Oh, up towards Jacksonville. Uh, so, so how long have you been homeless? Uh, all right. This time, uh, five, uh, five months. Five, five months. Five months. I had a friend, and uh, he was uh, him and his mate passed away in, the, in a three-month period of time, oh. and I had to uh, find a place to go. So that's where you were living. That's where I was living, and a caregiver. Oh, I see. And yeah. uh, she, he passed away with cancer, and then she passed away about a month and a half later. So you've been on the street about five months. Five months now. Yeah. And it's been difficult. I've been robbed, uh, robbed of a car. Everything in the house was robbed. I was uh, uh, mentally, physically unable to. Uh, fathom being on the streets but i went to this, uh, a mental health place in birmingham for a short period of time okay so you got everything straightened and out and got my bit. medicine straightened back out i was robbed of everything uh, even a vehicle so where do you live when you're not here at the warming station Just uh wherever you can wherever you can you know, most people go across the street of uh, the right place and yeah. sleep in there and then they, they'll lay oh, okay but it's been difficult and it has been a struggle and we all struggle every day. Yeah, I know you do. But we come together and we try to stay unified and happy and and uh, encourage keep each, it other together, each right, day. Yeah. Care of each other. It's a brotherhood and sisterhood type situation. Sir. Yeah. We all. We all. Uh, yeah. We all, yeah, you we all know the struggle. Right. Maybe we we're getting it. Uh, we getting frustrated saying this is a government grant. We laying out here it's cold right now. Right. And it's supposed to be a government grant to open up for us to stay in there. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, uh, I, I'm speaking for everybody. Yeah. This is wrong. Yeah, I, I know it's, it's a tough situation. I, I don't have solutions. I just want to share y'all's story. And, uh, and so we're what's crying name? out for help. I mean, yeah, the cry for help is out from And I've but, seen things on the news and the paper, you know, where they're trying to open warming stations. Just, but, so how long, what's your name? Who am I? Yeah. John Bell. John, okay, yeah, mine, mine's Jeff. So how long have you been uh, on the street? I'm on maybe about three months. Three months? Where were you before? Did you have a home and everything? Uh, yes, I had a home and everything. I come in some situations, circumstances, and they were not drug or yeah. alcohol related. It was just that where I rented, I couldn't stay. Yeah, that's the first thing everybody thinks about homeless people, that y'all are all... Stereotype. Addicts or recovery yeah, addicts. Yeah. Or and we are and, not. Or dangerous, and I know you're not. I mean, everybody struggles. I mean, you know, you may have tried drugs and struggle, and now you're trying to get clean. I mean, you obviously that. got sense. You know you where, had a move. You know well, where you to go to. That, you don't have the money. If, if it... Uh, if it ain't drug related, it'll make you do drugs. No, I understand. You gotta have an out. I mean, for you, real. You, you wanna have an outlet. Yeah. Well, we all have our bases. So, what's your name? My name is Jeff. Jeff, so, so is mine. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so, how long have you been out here? Shit, I've been out here for probably on the streets. What, 10, about 10 years. 10 years on the streets. And I mean, they. they it's God. a dead end street everywhere. So, how old are you? 45. So, so what about like. I know when I was when I was struggling, 
and I had kids at the time, I would just walk up on the construction sites and say, hey, you got any work for me? You know, can I clean up? People building apartments, houses, I said, I'll clean up. I said, you, you get 20 bucks, I'll clean up for the rest of the day. I got a guy. Do y'all ever have opportunities like that? I got that? a guy now that uh, his name is Tim oh, Meadows. Well, let me He's uh, doing, let me do a little bit of work for him. Yeah. But you know, it's, uh, it's rough. It's rough no, for I a know. woman. You never know. I know that. Up. And yeah, what's it going to do different. for the, the next day? Yeah, exactly. And then you don't have, so, so part of the problem is if you don't have an address, then you ain't got a, uh, probably ain't got a phone then you, no ain't got a, then you ain't got identification you ain't got everything it takes to but to, to get you back here. into the system the cops they get a hold of you for hell just being out here yeah and then yeah. they've been time steal from, from each other they take it take your stuff out of oh, no. well, oh, no. so, you put your camera on me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is if you don't want shit you ain't gonna get shit yeah i don't mean to cuss i don't mean to fuss but if you don't want anything, you're not going to get anything. Yeah. Huh. And that's what half of us out here are doing. We want to do what we do. We are overlooked. You know that. Yeah, everybody's we will overlook so. our needs for our wants. Yeah. So do you want to do this, but we need to do that. Yeah, Nobody so, wants to be homeless. So y'all don't have like, none of y'all have like families you can go back to, round up? I do, but my, my family is like this, you know. Uh, they quit having something to do with me years ago when I was in my drug addiction. Yeah, yeah. You know, so now. So you cleaned it, up now? Yeah, now, now it's. Uh, if you were out, they, the magic word. It wasn't, it wasn't so much about the drugs, I don't think. It was just uh, when my mother and father died, that was they it. They need yeah. that, they I mean, want the family want. just, you know. Yeah. Um, to me, I'm, uh, I am wasn't good enough. No, I get it, yeah. You know, I didn't meet the standards of we'll the family expectations, you know? Yeah, and then if you you, get, you do get addicted to something, then you all the more don't meet it. Yeah. You know, you're like, They did, just, they did. They are turned you their working, backs oh, on oh, me. Are you working with them? Am I what? Are you just out here? And then I changed Am I what? You just out here, yes. Yeah, I, I just want to meet y'all, uh, share your story. And uh, my family, I come to realize that this is my family. Yeah, I get there. it. Y'all got to stick together through, and, and they've help been each other. The, they've been through it all. Oh, oh, so I mean, the family that I do have, and, yeah. you know, hasn't been there. So. so you never had kids or anything? I do got kids. I got one that's in the county jail right now, and then I got two uh, ones in the army. Station jail and hell in York, out of here. And then I got one in Georgia. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's all hey. So what's your name? Janet Gady. Janet. Uh right. well it's nice yeah. meeting you. Hey Janet. partner. Yes, sir. That's all that's right about him. Only conversation is jail and hell. No, I know. I mean I can <laughs> imagine. Is, is you yeah, you can write a book of memoirs of what yeah. it is to be home. It, it just, everybody yeah. wanna tell you about what time they've been in jail. Nobody no, I know. can tell you how much education they got. Yes, yeah, so, uh, how much education you guys I've got? got like, years. Linda, you got I've, what? 15 years. I've got a business management degree. Do you? Yes, I do. Well, that's, that's awesome. I yeah. have two degrees. Yeah? Yeah, associate degree from the University of Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, do you? Yeah. Well, well you tell them you're homeless, and it's like, boom. But yeah. it don't mean I'm homeless because of. Uh, it's my situation and circumstance. Uh, yes, everybody's it's, yeah. different. It's yeah. not about what kind of I done. Yeah. So what about you guys? Y'all high school, finish high school, go to college? I, got, I, I finished high school. Did you? Where'd you go to school? Oh, uh, Fort Watson. Oh, wait. Oh, you Florida? Yeah. yeah, Florida. Oh, okay. So how'd you end up here? My family's up here. Where are they right now? So they they can't oh, yeah. help you out? They ain't around? No. Is it, was it because drug related problem or something? Just no, struggles or they just wrote you off? You wrote me off. Brothers, sisters, yeah. nothing? I got two sisters, one brother, but they're, they're in no position to help me. No, oh, I, I understand. Yeah. Huh, so you, you got brothers and sisters, or did you already tell I me that? One brother. He's 10 years older than I am. Uh, and we, we have our moments. Oh, uh, do you? So every now and then you meet up and try to... Uh, man, this is tough. And uh, I'm going to tell you one more thing. All right, one more thing. Out. I'm gonna leave y'all alone. <laughs> These are my brothers and sisters. Yeah. And I promise you, 
I'm not going to leave them till I can take them with me. <laughs> yes. uh, well, look, I, I appreciate y'all telling me your story. And uh, uh, I'm going to share it with uh, whoever wants to hear it. And we'd be more uh, than happy we, to. We are family. Any more questions, come back. I know. So what do y'all need right now, man? And I know everybody needs Shall money. Blankets, quilts. So y'all could use more blankets and quilts and, yeah. and any of that stuff. Yeah. So y'all are right here like when? Every time. Oh, time. Every oh so y'all just here waiting on this place to open. Yeah. yeah. To yeah. Five this is our family. There'll be at least one or two. When this areas. place closes, we're still oh. here. Yeah. 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 You know, this is the. Uh, so you're not allowed to put tents up and all that. Like, what well, if y'all had a tent? Oh, they make, they tear it down and throw it away. If you had a tent, I got. A, I'm finding a place to put one up. Yeah, and you what could. So I do got a tent. You can't be. Okay. I mean, I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. If I got a tent, I could give you. Yes. Yes, y'all yes, got a spot sir. you could put yeah, it where y'all could work together. Yeah, yes, sir. I mean, I, I'm not in a position to give jobs large amounts of money. I'm, I'm nobody. And, you got uh, all these people out here. We I, just need someone to get out the cold. Yeah. I got a, and I got a tent, and uh, and we I'll try to get it back to you today. Yeah. And uh, it's we're a pretty there, big one, there, you know, uh, but it's brand new. If you got a spot, you can put it where the police won't come rip it up. Because I've met with homeless people in the past, and oh, the police they, come they tear their whole do place that. down. Yeah. Well, see, they that, that, that's what I was going to tell you a minute ago. You know, here not too long ago, we'd be over here. Run over the other side of the road. Yeah. Then they come over there and run us from there. Right? No, I, up, I understand. Up, uh, I think so. Yeah, because then hell they'd run us from there to back to here. I'll throw I mean, all your stuff away. Because, because I know, I know you, you end up as as human garbage. Uh, exactly. I, I, I get it. Yeah. We are like dirt. Stereotype. Treat like for right now. Stereotype. Profile. We can get up on the end. Profile. We can get it somewhere. When you, uh, because you say homeless. That's so you got a place you think you really could put it, yeah. and and y'all could like work together, and yeah. and oh, I help when know, I can where I can. Oh, Ben, Ben yeah. Little. No, sir, I don't. I mean, we've He's, been uh, on, uh, City Council. I called him. They could put up a tent somewhere for these people to be from Out nowhere. Out of the element. Well, I know a couple of spots too that I'll tell you when I turn the camera off. Do that off, for us, son, and, please. Uh, and then we'll we'll go from there. But look, I appreciate you guys telling All me your right, story, and I do that for I give my word, I'll be back with a tent. I can help in any other way. All right. I would. I'll be please. back with a tent. Thank you. Can you not huh? get the message? Can I take a so I, a I give them all the money I have. That's all I got. Okay. But I'm coming back to. You. I ain't got no more, but I'm going to get y'all a tent. Can I say a prayer? Yeah, let's pray. Let's pray. pray. Let's pray. Father yeah. God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you to thank you. The mercy that you have sent upon us. That where society has kicked us to the curve. But he said, these are your people. Lord, bless them. Hold them. Bless him. I feel anointing within him right now. Lord, he's doing this not out of the goodness of the heart, but because out of the goodness of your heart. Lord, let us take this and use it for the dive in the goodness of you. This is our time. We have been kicked to the curb. Lord, bless this man. Bless his family. Bless his own coming. Bless everything he have done for the day, because he realized he didn't have to do it, but it was placed upon his heart. In Jesus' name, I and pray. Jesus Amen. 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 Huh? What are you paying? I gave him a 520 bucks. I don't know. So this is the warming station. And uh, we talked to a few people earlier. But they got a little movie going. I can't find the tent that I brought these people earlier. I want to look over here and see if they're around here. I don't know if y'all remember this tent. Laroon, my oldest son, did a... Uh, he did a company sent this to me from somewhere overseas, of course. And he built it in a video. So I'm bringing it back here. 